Well, there are definitely consequences to having deficiencies in these B vitamins. Things happen from chronic deficiencies of B vitamins, and that's not what this video is about. We want to look at specifically what happens from the homocysteine molecule when that's elevated. Does this molecule have an effect in and of itself on the body? negative detrimental effect on the body. To understand this, we can look at the research to help get a better understanding of the relationship between high, mo high homocysteine and human health. But first, we want to look at what constitutes a high homocysteine. So different labs have different reference ranges for homocysteine. First off, you want to make sure you're measuring your homocysteine in a fasted state, 10 to 12 hours. And as far as value, some labs will cut it off at 10 micromoles per liter. Others will cut it off at 12 or even 15 micromoles per liter in order to have a designation of hyperhomocysteinemia, which is high homocysteine in your blood. This is designated as anything above. 15 micromoles per liter. And that's just a specific diagnostic criteria. For me, I like to see it 